Hi guys, Spoiler Room here. This week we've got for the Vendor Roll Guide in your 12 tier guide the memory of Scory at Tyra Khan 101, nowhere near. Uh, memory of Radagast at a 111, way, way, way under as well. And memory of Galleon at a 107, the best of the three, but nowhere near 131 max stats. So. Tyra Khan doesn't have much for us this week. Nice cloak, Hunter. We jump over to Shiro and he has a mantle of Galleon for the Hunters at a 58, reasonable but not great. Yolder's Iron Sash for the Titans at also, also at a 58 and the Felwinter's Iron Bond at a 57. None of those are particularly helpful. This week Eris has her usual 55 for the Hunter, 55 for the Titan, and a 55 for the Warlocks. So the usual garbage from Eris, unfortunately, from a 12-tier perspective. This week the Speaker's got the Legend of Six Coyotes at a 57 for the Hunters. Also Strength of the Pack, the cloak that Anna Bray wore in the Twilight Gap battle. At a 53, not so good. The Freeholder's Memory for the Titans at a 55. <coughs> uh, Moctezuma Polyphonic at 56. And the Seal of the Twin Eagle at uh, for the Warlocks at a max stat 60. It's Discipline Strength. Until we Whoops. Again, Let's go back in there. It's a Discipline Strength, but it has... Hand Cannon Focus and Fusion Rifle Focus, Discipline Strength, and it's the Vanguard Champion, so it increases your Vanguard rep gain. If you're looking for a Discipline Strength uh, Bond for your Warlock, then grab this one from the Speaker. It is pretty cheap at 60 Legendary Marks and 25 Motes. The White Polygon Construct is also at 54, not very good. So, he's selling one great item for the Warlocks, for 12 tiers. For the Hunters this week, Varix has a Devil's Disguise at 58, a King's Mantle at perfect 60, so Intellect Strength, and it also has Pulse Rifle Focus, so if you like running, say, the Clever Dragon, which might be useful this week in uh, Iron Banner, and Rocket Launcher Focus, if you run around with the Galahorn, say. Uh, they give you increased upgrade rates and also Vanguard Champion. So the King's Mantle, if you're looking for the King's Cloak, King's Mantle for the Hunter, Varix has one perfect stat roll intellect strength this week. The Kells Cloak is not far off but not great at 58, also with the Pulse Rifle and Vanguard Rep. For the Titans this week, Varix has the Devil's Mark at a 57, Kel King's Mark, sorry, at a 58, and the Kel's Mark at a 56. None of these are terribly useful for 12 tiers. And finally, for the Warlocks, Varix has a Devil's Bond at a 59, a King's Bond at 57, and a Kel's Bond also at a 59. They're pretty good, but not perfect rolls. I would not personally buy them. You might. Uh, if you were looking for Hand Cannon or Scout Rifle Increased, also Vanguard Rep, uh, intellect Strength or Intellect Discipline, but personally, as I said, I wouldn't buy those. Especially when there is a perfect roll Discipline Strength on offer at the Speaker for the Warlock and also a perfect Intellect Strength roll Cloak from Varix for the Hunters. That's it for this week, Guardians. The Vendor Rolls are done. Don't forget to go see Shax because his bounty this week is Rift. And Rift is Iron Banner, which starts in just a few hours. So hit those up. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, Guardians. If you got something out of this one, please give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can always find regular updates on Instagram and on Twitter. My gamertag, BoilerRoom81, is the way to find me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.